right, Ken Sparks, wrap up the spring game. The old co coaches and the orange team pick up the 25-14 victory. You went with a different format this year, just in terms of the coaching staff. What was it like to see Turner, Clowney, Hutzel competing against the Waits, Revezes, and Goods of the World? Well, it was it was fun to watch, and uh, I was hoping it would come down to the last play of the game. And uh, and and hear them uh, play that one out, you know. But uh, uh, it was, um, I thought there was good enthusiasm and uh, I thought there was, and of course that comes from the kids and I thought there was some good things that happened. And and uh, so um, it was a good way to end. You know, we got a whole bunch of people, 20, 25 guys that's not practicing right now and that makes it tough. But uh, but we made we made some progress in the spring and and uh, I thought as we went, we, we started doing a little bit better with practice attitude and, and with effort, overall effort. And, and that's all you're trying to do in spring practice, get effort and attitude and, and, and be better blockers and tacklers. And I thought we made progress that way. Really, this game didn't even take shape until today. We, we <laughs> thought it was right. going to be an offense-defense uh, deal just because yeah. of the number of quarterbacks you had. But Lonnie Williams takes off his boot yesterday and scampers for a 55-yard touchdown, has another QB sneak. What about the job both he and uh, Nicky Friesen? Amazing. I mean, it really is amazing. Uh, Nicky took every snap for about a week. Uh, and then uh, Lonnie made a mistake. He came out and, and uh, could could run without limping yesterday. And so all I had to do was sleep on that one and say, yeah, we'll have an orange and blue game. And, and of course, you know, they they tough kids. They they took some punishment today, and they did a great job. And aside from the quarterbacks, who else stands out to you? Well, uh, you know, uh, uh, I thought uh, some of our young guys really stepped up because they got a lot of reps. Uh, I thought uh, Jacoby uh, at running back uh, was uh, was uh, made progress all spring. I thought. Uh, uh, I saw uh, Chris Dansby doing doing some things that uh, we were hoping that he would do when he when he got here. Uh, we uh, had a, a, a little old corner that stepped up, uh, Johnson that stepped up and did a good job. And so I thought there was several people that um, uh, that made some big progress this spring. What do you what does your team have to do now between now and uh, September? six months from now to mm -hmm. improve not only on the field but within their own hearts well and of course uh, you know they the, as a team we have no as individuals we have no excuse because we've heard from the Tony Dungies and the Charlie Walkers and the Tony uh, Buchanan's and the Lisa uh, Harding we've heard from some unbelievable people that spoke uh, truth into our and into us and so you know it's just a matter of whether we want to have application or whether we want to hear but not hear and uh, so you know I just um, and none of us can live life for another person you know they gotta make those choices but what I hope for right now is that we'll make wise choices about uh, how we want to live life and how we want to uh, make a difference in this world and then I hope we get bigger, faster, and stronger in the process. And uh, uh, but the number one thing is to get stronger in the heart and to get uh, uh, wiser in the brain. And uh, if we'll do that, then we got a chance to be a better football team. And of course, let's hope some people get well. <laughs> that would help too. <laughs> All right, Ken. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you in the fall. All right. I look forward to it. Thanks.